My name is Phil Estes. Uh, I was invited to to give a, a brief overview of container registries. Uh, just going to fit that into uh, 10 minutes or less. So we're obviously not going to cover every minutia about registries and how they operate, but hopefully you'll come away uh, with some good information, some basics about uh, container registries, and uh, obviously we'll have time for some Q&A and some interactivity, uh, both uh, during and after the talk, and uh, hopefully you'll get a good basis of, of understanding. So let's start trying to define uh, what is a registry, again, in the context of containers. Um, we're talking about a place to store container images. Um, usually, of course, we're talking about the OCI image spec. Uh, we're going to talk a little more about those specifications uh, as we go forward. Uh, but let's just assume uh, we're talking about container images as we know them uh, from the Docker heritage. And they're really a combination then of, of binary uh, layers and these JSON data blobs. And these things are all associated, uh, again, via the spec, uh, via, via cryptographic hashes of each of these uh, components that are then referenced uh, in a various form uh, via the spec. And so a registry then is this really uh, content store uh, location that handles the distribution back and forth of, of these images. And so we have an API that allows a client to push or to pull these images uh, from the registry. And it's the registry's job to handle the actual storage and, and management of those images and allow things like uh, search and other capabilities to do authentication and authorization. And again, I've, I've mentioned the OCI image spec, um, but your registry may support the Docker v2 format or OCI or singularity images. And we'll talk a little bit about that. But obviously, it's up to the registry what media types uh, they will support for these operations. So you might ask, well, what registries are out there? You've probably heard of Docker Hub. It's been around for uh, quite a number of years now. It's kind of that original uh, as a service registry that you could create a namespace and upload images. And that was based on an open source project, obviously still existing today, that we usually refer to as Docker distribution. Um, many other registries have shown up in the last few years since then. Uh, this is just a snapshot of the CNCF landscape. If you scope it just to registries, um, you get this image. Uh, if you're watching this or, or watch or listen later, and you say, hey, I know of a registry project or, or offering that isn't here, feel free to go to the landscape GitHub page and you can easily uh, submit an issue or pull request to get one added. But Again, this covers a lot of the ones that I think most people know of today. Um, most of the ones, uh, all the ones with the complete white background are open source projects. So both uh, Project Harbor and Dragonfly are CNCF projects today. Um, you see the Docker distribution projects and uh, Quay has been open sourced in the last year. The gray background projects are um, mostly as a service registries from the various cloud providers, Amazon, Azure, IBM, Google Cloud. Um, there's also products like JFrog's Artifactory here as well. Um, so again, many other registries, both open source and commercial products have shown up. Some of, some of them are based on the Docker distribution code base. So again, these are the registries you can find both in open source and commercial today, and I'm sure we'll see more uh, coming in the future. Again, when we talk about having multiple implementations, it's important that they actually operate in a similar fashion. When I do a push to Amazon's registry or a push to Docker Hub, I would hope that both those registries act in the same way when I offer the same image and do a push, I should get the same result. The OCI, the Open Container Initiative, was formed for that very purpose back in 2015, um, that we both be able to define, define for runtimes as well as images a standardized specification that various implementations as they, as they arrive on the scene will hopefully implement the spec and will have this uh, true interoperability uh, when we talk to different registries or use different runtimes. 
And so there's a couple um, parts of these specifications that, that weigh on our discussion about registries. First, the image spec, I've already referred to it, but this really defines that layout of an image and these relationships between a manifest and the config object and the layer blobs based on the heritage of the Docker v2 image format. The distribution spec builds on that. Uh, the distribution spec is still in process, but it's effectively, again, starting from the heritage of that Docker distribution project. You've got this HTTP API, how you interact with the registry, the distribution spec formalizes that um, and should be reaching 1.0 uh, in the near future. Um, the Artifacts project is related to both these specs in that um, the OCI recognizes that OCI images are not the only thing you might want to store in, in a registry, in this content store that has the ability to push and pull objects, do searches, query tags. And so uh, while the image spec media types are obviously of first importance to most registries, um, things like Helm charts or SPDX bundles or singularity images are, are also interesting things to store in registries. And so uh, the artifacts repository is meant to be a place where we can recognize specific media types and have a guide for implementers to know how to handle these types in their registries. And so I think that's an interesting uh, new aspect of the work of the OCI around images and registries, uh, as well as new artifact types that are showing up on the scene. So when we talk about interacting with a registry, I mentioned the distribution spec is nearing its 1.0 release. Um, effectively, uh, things like the Docker push and pull commands or Scopio copy or manifest tool inspect or the CRI uh, CTL tool, which can also pull images for like a Kubernetes uh, kubelet that has a container runtime associated with it. All these tools are interacting over this distribution API. So HTTP methods uh, connected to a specific uh, resource locator uh, like the list of tags or the reference to a manifest or blobs like the various layers of an image. Um, and so again, uh, if you look at the source code for any of these tools, you'll see that they're either using a library that provides this uh, distribution interaction over HTTP or they implement it uh, within their source code. Um, as we mentioned, with a lot of different registries uh, available out there um, and with the OCI work to specify a common way to do these things, conformance testing helps us actually verify that registry implementations are meeting um, and conforming to the requirements of the specification. And so there's been really good work going on in the OCI around um, conformance to the distribution spec. And so uh, you can go to this URL. This is, again, work in progress because the distribution spec is not fully completed. Um, when it is completed and when uh, registries, whether open source or commercial uh, products or, or cloud uh, offerings, uh, can self-certify using this conformance suite, and you can go and verify that the registry you want to use actually conforms to the OCI spec. And it's uh, divided across things like pull and pu push and content discovery. Uh, and you can see the very specific tests that are passing or failing at these links. So this is, again, another great aspect of the work of the OCI to make sure that as registries uh, blossom and, and, and grow over the next years, both in uh, offerings from your favorite cloud provider or new products or new open source projects, you can have that interoperability uh, between registries that you want to use by verifying that they conform to the OCI spec. Um, so again, that's a very quick uh, whirlwind tour through registries, through some of the components around the OCI specs that, that uh, define how we work with registries, um, what registries are out there. I'd love to answer questions you, you may have. Feel free to connect with me and send me questions. Um, and again, thanks very much for listening.